and we are back! I know this may only be my second video, but I just created one of the best... Yes, it's currently 17.1, and yes, I do need to update. But I've already had some other people test this idea out after I gave it to them, and this idea is golden so far. Let me just load into this world here. And so far, this is the best Fortnite kind of idea that I've come up with so far. And you can build this right off the bat. You do not need to work anything getting destroyed. You can just build a simple base. You can just AFK in if you want. And you should be able to last the first few hordes off, no problem. Like, yes, okay, now looking at the space, um, let's do this, just looking at the space, you can see here, that, okay, you don't, this barbed wire is not really necessary, it's just fun to have, this is a pretty simple design, now, yes, this is steel, but guess what, um, let's go here, steep, Wood, no. Oh gosh, just look up wood. I gotta find the building materials. Like, I see everyone using these wedges and things like that, but I'm not really a big fan of the wedges. I, oh, okay, that's what it's called. Steep corner. Okay, so you can easily get these right off the bat, these steep corners. You just gotta literally just dig up some rock, some soil, and you instantly get cobble. And the moment you get cobble, um, you can easily build this or anything like this. Uh, it's very simple. Now, I only did this high. One, you don't actually need to do this out of cobble or wood. You can actually, whoa, that, why was that reinforced? I did not reinforce this. Anyways, you make this out of cobble, you make this out of wood, you can do whatever you want. To make a floating ba base, you can just do that. Then you go to advanced. If it, let's go to advanced. There we go. And you walk up to it, and you see it's floating right there. And bam, you have a floating base. What did I just do with that? Crap. Okay. Anyways, so going up here, then you just place it down like that. You just rotate it around like you did before. And yes, I'm in fly mode, but you don't actually need to be in fly mode to do that. It's quite easy. Then you just build off to it. Now, with wood, you're going to need more supports. You can't just do this. So you'd have to go like three layers down, three layers across, yada, yada, yada. But you can do your whole base on this. Now, that's great and all, but you're only going to be prolonging the zombies and you basically just are going to... That's like a good AFK base, yes. But if you build it six blocks or higher, from what I noticed, most zombies take damage from six layers. Up. So, we're not six layers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Anything above this six mark, they're going to take fall damage from. Let's see if I can get a good example. Let's just do... Uh, no, I don't want it up there. Biker Feral. Hello, hot dude. Come on. Show me what you got. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have put on the part where I can see their life. But you can hear them falling. And now look at this. They're not actually smacking anything. They're just falling straight through. It is really rare for them to smack anything. And if they do smack anything, you can just fix it. I don't even know what, how that smacked you. The guy was right back there when he swung. Anyways, you see, one swung so far. Okay, that's fine. Now, the nice thing about this is... The zombies already have their goal right there. Which means you could easily build up right here. And... Fire at them like so. Oops. Um, oops. Anyways, let me just fix that real quick. Um, there we go. Okay. Did not mean for that to happen. 
So you just hop out up on some wooden frames, come up here, bada bing, bada boom, done. You have a perfect sight line for hitting all of them. Now, if you want to get fancy later on, you can actually build out that ramp a little further and put water, which is why I actually got ramp to have water there. Water will slow them down and make them so much easier to deal with. And on top of that, if you do a floating base, they're just going to end up like this guy right below you, and they're not going to know what the fuck to... Or fr sorry, fridge. Okay, editing out this part. See, yeah, editing out this part. Okay. Hopefully. Anyways, so nothing happens there. They literally can't do anything. They have no idea what to smack. Yeah, now when a bunch of them come up and they can start stacking on bodies, fine. But at that point, you can just walk over to this side, and they're still going to be over there. And then any of them that try following you over, they're just going to follow you over. And even if they break a couple, it's fine. They're just going to fall off, and you can still get easy shots on killing all of them. If you really want to, you can even put your base in the center of this. It's very easy to do. Look at this. Let's see if they can get to me now. Nope, there's still most of them. Nope. Okay, now they're trying to get to me. But look at this. They still don't know how to get to me. I'm just running around here. They can't smack me. They can try, but they're just going to fail. Why do I keep dropping my things? This is stupid. Where did it even go? What? It dropped upwards? Anyways. Shenanigans being a shenanigans. This is my easiest way of doing it. I'm done with hatches. Um, they break. The zombies smack at them. It's not worth the hassle. This little area is my best idea. So far, I'm pretty sure other people have come up with it. Um, if they have, I don't honestly know who it is, who caught, even came up with it. But this is the idea I'm using right now. It just looks like this. It kind of looks like a rectangular little bumper pool board, I guess, without the bottom on it. Either way, it's pretty kick-ass. Like, if you want to make this fancy, okay, and you don't want to use water, fine. You want to serve it up and water, fine. Easily, just put a little roof on this thing. So, let me see if I can give you an example. Then you can either get and then dart traps are actually very easy to obtain. So you just put um just like that. Maybe one more up actually. Darts. Now, you obviously wouldn't be using this specific kind of barbed wire. It is kind of unreliable. It's not really worth the hassle. Most of the time it breaks really easily. But for the sake of the purpose of this test, it will work fine. Okay, um, let's see, where's the Hawaiian? Oh, I forgot to put the pressure plates down and set that up. Crap. Anyways, you get the idea. Look, the, the barbed wire by itself, sorry, slowing them down to them making them fall. But yeah. So, super simple idea, floating base, billiards board right there, one in each, po and they step off the pockets, bada bing, bada boom, and look at that, it's already like freeing them up, they're not destroying that, they're not even taking a swing at it. The only thing you'd really have to do is set this side up for, uh, what is it called, the spiders, as well as cops, you basically want to just put... Like a hatch here. Pretend this is a hatch. 
hatch there, hatch there, just to make sure they feel like they can walk through, otherwise their pathing is going to be messed up here. Um, why are they smacking the ground? That's weird. Never had that happen before. Well, I guess it's happening now. Anyways, you can basically set up uh, all your cage stuff right here, but it's pretty BA. Even set up electrical fence over here works too. Anyways, this is the idea of the base I'm using. I don't know if it's original or not, but it's awesome. I highly recommend it. This is obviously hollowed out. I only did this for test run. Yeah, see, I did all this. Um, anyways, if you like this base, let me know. And give me your ideas on any other good base ideas. Maybe I'll even expand this out a little more. I wonder if I can make a difference if I made a bigger ramp or not. Ah, oh well. That is a idea for another time. This is all I wanted to post. Anyways, thank you. Have a great rest of your day, and... I don't know. Let the Z-Force be with you.